any person's story is the reincarnation of themselves. I mean, that's without saying. My father was a record distributor. And instead of bringing us, for gifts, he used to bring us records. And um, I had a record in my hand before I learned how to talk or walk. And, um, and it's been a factor ever since. It's always been a factor in my life. Well, my store started in 1980, and uh, I, I guess it's about 27 years. And um, my store started off as an alternative record store. I mean, there was only records and uh, eight tracks and cassettes, and um, alternative because it was all used in the beginning. And time has changed. Then I got into new stuff and ordering and stuff like that. And then, of course, CDs came into the pictures and uh, DVDs, and I, in the 27 years I've been in business, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of changes and I've had to adapt to the changes. The journey still continues. <laughs> yeah, that's 12.98. I'll put it aside. Thanks a lot, Jim. Take care, bye. I decide, okay, where am I gonna uh, start the business? So I, I have a sociology background and I, I developed the survey and I went through all the towns in Ontario. I decided I was going to do it in Ontario. And um, Kingston won out in the checklist. And so I came here not knowing a soul. And I remember uh, I rented a place up the stairs, down, down the street. And um, the landlord didn't think uh, much of me. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think. A lot of, play, of people like myself um, who are more alternative, I think we had similar ideas at the same time. A year or two separated us. And we all drifted here. Uh, Shea Piggy, Tara Food, um, Phase Two, you know, places like that. And uh, we sort of, uh, and all of a sudden there became an alternative culture here. And we didn't know each other and none of us had lived in Kingston before and it was just one of those things in the wind and uh, you know so that's how it happened we're uh, two young big Johnny Cash oh yeah well okay well I'll show you what I have done for Johnny Cash there's this one here that's the one you, that's the one in the window I import posters from England and because Canadian posters and American posters if I didn't do this all the stores would look alike and these are very different ones there's art uh, posters, there's uh, cityscapes, there's nature, there's, uh, it's just about everything. Music is from the soul. Music is uh, emotion. Music is feeling. Um, people who can't express themselves sometimes do it through music. You know, and uh, it's something that's uh, pretty harmless for, you know, compared to other things. And uh, it just, it makes people happy. It's a positive force. It's like reading history throughout the ages. And you can just uh, do it through music rather than reading it, you know. I've been into international, classical, jazz, blues. Like, you know, it's quite a journey. It's taken many years, but if you love something, then you, you, you do it. I've been here 27 years and I'm the only person who buys things from people, who sorts them, who prices them, who puts them in the stacks. And I've been blessed with a good memory. So as long as no one is helping me and doing different chores or whatever, uh, I know just from that. Of course, as you get older, you, you, you lose things and uh, you know me included uh, you know where I tell someone no I don't have it and I do have it and just so but, but generally it works out very nicely you know because yeah. people are always in a rush they phone you up they want to make sure you have something before they come in and uh, so you have to be very really quick
some people would come in and look at this place as a museum, and I was wondering whether I was doing the right thing or not. <laughs> but uh, th records have become just so big right now where you can order all the new stuff coming out on vinyl. Some of them are up there. Um, a lot of the kids have raided their parents' record collections and said, you're into Led Zeppelin, you're into Pink Floyd. All of a sudden, the, um, the generation gap has sort of, uh, uh, is getting closer because people respect their parents' musical tastes and, and take all their records. But records are chugging along and I think they always will. It makes it more interesting. Records, I find, are fun. You know, fun to look at, fun, a warmer sound. Uh, CDs are very convenient, but um, you know, a CD store, you come in, you have it, fine, you leave. A record store, you come in and you just, uh, you hang out. And that's what I like about the store, is that people hang out. And even on a bad day, um, you have all these conversations with people and you come home and, you know, you're, you're satisfied as far as that's concerned. Um, but I, I don't think I could ever run just the CD store. Uh, it's just too boring. When you look at the sign, uh, originally, it was a dog and, uh, you know, it's very similar to the RCA slogan, but not quite. And I got this menacing letter saying that if they ever saw anything to do with my store that, that has something to do with RCA, they would sue me without notice. So he ended up changing the, the dog into a, uh, into a bear that looked like me playing a fretless guitar and, uh, and then changed this and that. And then, and then the sign became uh, what I have right now, which is sort of fading. <laughs> and I haven't gotten anyone to replace, uh, to do anything about it. I guess whenever, um, when people ask me whether, uh, when I'm going to leave, and I'll say, well, when um, the letters of Brian's record option fades, uh, then I know it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs>